All right, in this video, we're gonna talk about my top 20 favorite effects inside of After Effects. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film and welcome to our channel. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. So, and these 20 effects will be effects that you will more than likely use a handful of times throughout your career of using After Effects, whether it's motion graphics or compositing. Uh, these effects will bring tremendous value to your project. So let's jump into our top 20 list and let's get started. All right, the first effect we're gonna talk about is a very quick effect called Force Motion Blur. And we can find this under Effect, time force motion blur and what this effect does it adds motion blur to moving objects so for example if you can't add motion blur to specific video clips or pre-rendered elements this will automatically allow you to add motion blur to that object so now we have motion blur on our logo next up is the fill effect so effect generate fill and what this effect allows us to do is change the color of an entire object with one control. So this is a great effect if you want to control the color of your object very easily. Moving on, we got Stylize Motion Tile. And this is a phenomenal effect if you want to, you know, create a slideshow or create transitions or to expand the borders of an object. So for example, what we could do here with the Motion Tile effect is we can add a keyframe for Tile Center. We can move forward in time and go to one of the parameters here and we can start looping uh, this you know image so we can create a transition or you know just kind of create a nice slideshow and overall this effect allows you to expand the edges of your clip and allows you to create this nice slideshow animation so if you want to transition between two clips this is also an awesome effect to use next up is under the stylized menu again and it's called cc vignette and this simply just allows you to add a very nice edge around your image or composition. So just a little before and after, bam, just helps you focus in on the center and you have some nice controls here. So a really easy effect to use, but rather a popular effect for color grading and to creating more of a style on your project. Next up is under the perspective menu and it's called drop shadow, a very popular effect here but a lot of great options here and the ability to duplicate this and create different variations is gonna allow you to easily create stronger shadows and it's a very nice effect to just uh, make things stand out and pop out from the background. So the next effect is 3D Camera Tracker, which is under the Perspective menu. And what this allows us to do is track the 3D data of a shot, select one of the pins here, and be able to easily put in any type of object into our clip as if it's actually shot there. So you can see that this text is tracking with our shot and that's what the 3D camera effect allows us to do. The next, the next effect is underneath the Generate CC Light Sweep and it has a center point which allows us to easily animate this light sweep over a title or pretty much anything. Most commonly you will see this over titles and we can easily animate our light sweep to just go across our title and just brings more attention and this just brings more attention to what we want our audience to read. And the next effect we're going to talk about is the audio spectrum effect, which I'm not going to go too in depth because we have a full tutorial on this and there's a lot of parameters in this effect. And you can easily use this effect to create an audio reaction to music, which can be used around objects and in many different creative ways. So if, so if you want to learn more about how to use the audio react effect, you can check out links in the description. I'll take you over to this tutorial. And the next effect is an awesome video effect under Distort and it's called Warp Stabilizer. And what this effect allows us to do is easily remove camera shake from a shot by warping the image. And what this applies to the shot is a lot more smooth um, and definitely take in account for the smoothness options and under the advanced tab there is crop less and smooth more. You want to be able to control these so you don't actually warp the image too much uh, just to the point where maybe you reduce the camera shakiness by a, a little bit. There's a lot of effects underneath the color correction menu but the best color correction effect and the only one that you really need for color correcting clips is Lumetri Color. And this color correction effect has it all, everything you need to help you color correct a great image, especially color correcting this stud muffin. But you have every single menu and possibly every effect that you need from curves to color wheels to being able to select specific colors in a shot and color correcting them manually and just adding a quick vignette. You have everything you could possibly need to help you color correct a shot with Lumetri Color. And before we move into our next 10 effects, I want to give a shout out to Envato Elements. 
You know what I dislike as a content producer? Having to spend hundreds of dollars a month to purchase stock footage, music for my videos, After Effects templates, and graphic design templates for my business. With Envato Elements, I can save a ton of money for my business by spending only $16.50 a month where I can download unlimited music, After Effects templates, stock footage, and so much more for my business needs. If you want to learn how you can save countless time and money, be sure to check our links in the video description, which will take you over to Envato Elements. Next up on our list is under simulation and it's particle world. And this effect is absolutely amazing. There are so many different uses with this. However, it is a little bit tricky to use, especially if you're first starting off in After Effects. It does take some time to understand this effect and to make it look good for what you're doing. And I have several tutorials dedicated just to using this effect. So if you want to learn more about particle world, I will drop a link in the description. Essentially, it's a 3D particle effect that allows you to manipulate particles and to easily generate whatever you're looking to do. Now, if you do watch my videos, I use this effect in almost every single motion graphics tutorial, which is called Noise Under Noise and Grain. And I love this effect with motion graphics and titles because this allows us to easily stylize our graphics to kind of blend in with video and just adds a nice aesthetic touch to our you know, graphics. So, so just like a little before and after of the noise, you know, everything is solid and now it's broken up and it looks like a video clip and just adds like a nice style to your graphics. And once again, we're in the noise and grain menu, and this one is Fractal Noise. Fractal Noise has a lot of awesome options that you can use. Usually I use Fractal Noise for generating maps for distortion. Uh, also, you can, this can be used for generating atmosphere, so if you want to add like a little bit of fog. If you want to add a little bit of fog to your composition, this is an effect that will allow you to do that. And once again, if you're just starting off, this is a little bit of a complex effect, but once you get the understanding of how this works, there's a lot of great value in Fractal Noise. And moving closer to the end of our list, we have another effect under noise and grain is called remove grain. So we added noise, now we're removing grain from video clips. And this is a very straightforward effect, but it simply easily removes the grain. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this here on YouTube, but we can just set this to final output and it will remove noise from your shot. So it'll make things way more smooth. Noise reduction is the most powerful parameter in this effect. So if you wanted to make it more powerful or less, you go ahead and adjust that. Moving forward here, we have a great background type effect underneath the generate menu, which is called gradient ramp. And this is an awesome effect to easily be able to create a uh, background. So you do a radial ramp, change the last color to maybe something a little bit darker, go to your first color and make it just a little bit brighter. And you're able to easily create a nice gradient background. And moving up on our list, we have a very popular effect called stylized glow. And this allows us to easily just you know, make things glow. So for, you know, trying to make things pop from the background and glow can appear to be an intimidating effect, but it's actually really easy. And I actually have a recent tutorial on using the glow effect. So if you want to check out the glow effect in its full capacity, I will drop that link in the description as well. And moving on, we have our first blur and sharpen effect and it's going to be called camera lens blur. And this is my favorite blur effect because and this effect blurs things out as if it was out of focus in camera. So you can easily control the bokeh of your shot from different you know, shapes. You can increase the aspect ratio to affect the bokeh. And overall, this is an awesome blur effect if you really want to emulate an actual you know, out of focus look from a camera. And moving on to our next effect, also within the blur and sharpen menu is the Gaussian blur. And this effect takes way less processing power than the camera you know, lens blur effect. So if you want to just quickly blur something out, this is the effect that you go with. Um, because it's just very easy to use. And then very close to the end here, our next effect is keying and it's gonna be key light, pretty much the only green screen effect that you need to have, coupled with a few other ones, but key light is an awesome green screen effect which just allows us to easily select the color, be able to increase the gain, and we have so many different amazing options to be able to just easily key things out. So we can come here to screen mat and you know, key out some more of the image if it's messed up, bring in more of the data if we key it out too much. So overall, it's just a really great effect uh, and all the compositing tools you need with keying out a green screen. And then lastly, we have probably my current favorite effect, which is optics compensation, which allows you to add a distortion to your image. So you can make it look like you're zoomed in to your composition, to your motion graphics or to your image, or you can more like ball up your graphics and create a very unique distortion. I love doing this if you want to bring more attention to the center of your project. So those are my top 20 favorite effects for After Effects. And there's so many effects within the software that you know, there's so many different uses and no way that we can find the perfect 20 because it all depends on the work that you do. So hopefully this video gave you an idea how some of these effects 
work so you can implement them into your future projects. So if you did enjoy this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post multiple post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel. You can also hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the video description and always be creative.